with you. I'm back to Tarkov. Uh, going to Streets Tarkov, Scav Run. This is my first uh, time playing the map, so. So he's going to do absolutely perfect and do the exact route that gets him the best stuff. Double. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where the extracts on this dude. map are. The extract is just click your he heels three times and then you go home. I wish. Honestly, that would be like the one thing in movies I wish I could do. Could you imagine not having to go anywhere? Just oh, like click, click just be like, three times. I wish I was home. I wish I was home. I wish I was home. Oh my god. And then you're home. I forgot that's what you had to do. You had to say it. So could you imagine just being like. Was it I wish I was home or some shit like that? Or it was something to do with home. There's there's no place like oh, home. Oh, yeah, it's, there's no place was. like home. There's no place like home. Yeah, it's just funny because, like, she only ever goes back home. But could you imagine if it's, like, like I said, like a normal teleportation thing? So you have to click your heels three times, and you're like, there's no place like Arby's. There's no place like Arby's. And then you just <laughs> arrive at an Arby's. No, you go to fucking uh, the off brand Arby's down the street. <laughs> yeah, it's like with an E, and it's called Arby's. So, like, I don't think this is right. Well, it seems like there was a place like Arby's. Yeah, welcome to Eddie's. <laughs> Your sign said Arby's. Ah, I'm Eddie. I run Arby's. What's an Arby? <laughs> it's the mystery meat. It may or may not Whoa. be free schoolers. You're like, okay, I gotta get a gun and call the cops. Yeah, <laughs> there's no place like 911. There's no place like 911. Oh. Uh, God, that'd be too funny. Oh, I got, uh, I had the worst day of my life yesterday. Josh has many stories for us. Well, so I had a dentist appointment. If anyone that knows this, I think I may have done like one rant on dentists. But if you're, I'm sorry, you may be a cool human being, but any dentist or dental assistant, I have no respect for your job anymore. I'm just going to, let's put that on the table. Okay? Not unless you can Again, do it with a 100% success rate. Let's say you can be good people. You can be good at your job. Everyone must like you. Cool. I respect you know what, that. No, Josh. I'm gonna go become a dental assistant now. <laughs> oh shit! Hold on. Before I fuck up this recording, I probably want to change so that I actually get the Tarkov audio. Ah. Uh, good. Give me a muffin right now. More muffin. I've got pop uh, sitting here. A, if you become a dental assistant, there'll be a community post saying, just so you know, uh, Josh has left the show. <laughs> Seth will take it on his own. And I've gone hermit. You'll not be able to hear me from me for three years. But, uh, so off rip, before I went in yesterday, I never really liked the dentist, okay? It wasn't like a fear thing or like a discomfort thing. It's just like, no one at the dentist is like, I'm having a good time. I'm so happy to be here. Besides, say, I've like, never dentists. had a good time at the dentist. Well, yeah, even like you're just going for a cleaning. You're like, oh, cool. They get to clean your teeth and rather tell you, okay, you're doing good or floss more. That's basically what happens 99% of the time. True. So I, my teeth are great, by the way, but I had two back teeth. My and teeth are canals. great besides the ones that are fucked up, you know. I was just going to point out to be like, just so you know, it wasn't that bad. So I'm trying not, not being like, oh, I'm in the dentist really too much. It's just like two teeth that were bad. So they're like, all you need to do is get root canals. So I did that. And then what they do it is they put a temporary crown on it because they have to like send it to a lab to People probably get hear it, all like, sorts of noise coming made. from my mic. But then, uh, and then after like uh, two, three weeks, they come out with a permanent one. So they take a temporary one and put the permanent one on. That's what was supposed to happen. But they do it one tooth at a time. So I had a temporary one done. So I went in yesterday to get the permanent one. And I don't know how. They seem to fuck up everything. It was, uh, there was, uh, I can't, like my brain won't do okay. it. So, th there was this or, new lady. You know, he's trying to fix it, Bong Ripper the 88. Well, no, it's just, it's so bad. Yeah. Okay. 
So, so they originally were going to put the permanent crown on, but it originally didn't fit. And this lady, who told me it was her first day, by the way, which is something you never want to hear, started to sand it down because it was, like, too tight, I guess. She did that about 15 times and borderline just, like, completely eviscerated it. So they were like, we're going to need to order a new one. We're so sorry. I'm like, cool. Not nah, cool. Cool, maybe don't but then fuck it, it up was... next time, guys. But while I was there... I had the root canal done on the second two. She's like, oh, we can go ahead and put the temporary one out and get the mold for that one. So in your next appointment, you can get both permanent ones at the same time, and that'll be the end of this adventure. I'm like, swag. They're like, cool. They will take at most an hour. I laid down in that dentist chair for four and a half hours, not exaggerating. Because that literal, like, saline syringe they have with, like, the cement exploded in my mouth, and they were filling it while they were doing that and exploded the tooth. Oh, I've never this felt things a bit laggy. <laughs> I never felt more pain in my life, and that taste of that cement stuff is yeah, it burned too. And like, oh my god! So they had to rebuild the tooth with steel rods and like this one material, which name I forget. You could probably Google it, and then put a temporary one on, and then have to scan it, all while. I'm only numb on one side, and that one girl accidentally drilled me on the side of my mouth. The one that was, the part of it that was not numb, so. I contemplated suicide yesterday. Uh, so how was your yesterday, Seth? It was pretty good. <laughs> Can't complain. <laughs> you, dang, I wish you'd come back with, like, uh, you know, it was actually pretty well. I went to go to lunch with a friend, and I found, like, $5 on the road, so I'm like, that's pretty dope. Oh, yeah, no, that definitely didn't happen. I wish. Yeah. Yeah, I met the president and he like gave me like a president to like seal and stuff. I got to sign an executive order. Oh, come on. Weeds now legal in Indiana. Hey dude, I'd love that. That'd be great. Okay, game. Just just stop fucking so bad. Just stop being trash. Just Whoa, stop do being you see trash. How laggy it is? Yeah. That lighting glitch, not really glitch, but lighting effects really dope. It's like a horror oh, movie. That was I. I wanted to go for O. Oh. Basement Wait, descent, we... entrance to catacombs, ventilation shaft. <laughs> the penis shaft. Oh, we got chat. I heard shots. Ooh, this is. Why does this look like the parking garage of the Dark Knight? Uh, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I just realized that. We're inside a building on a map that has, which is supposed to be nothing but suburbs. And you're in a parking garage. Yeah. Oh. I have no, no idea Inter where to get out, how to get out, where I'm going. I don't know if going up's, if you're trying to get out, I don't know if going up's the way to go. Uh, people speaking Russian. That would be fellow scav. Nope. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Okay, could this game not lag so much? That is how twice you've been like, hopefully I don't die, and then it just immediately- I saw the guy. Me. I just couldn't do anything. I saw the guy. You got- Oh my god, that's fun. His name's You Got Railed. Dude, you and me are gonna be out, like, eating one day, and you're gonna be like, you know what? This burger kind of tastes actually pretty bad and then have an allergic reaction and die. That's how your luck goes with that kind of stuff. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> You'll just be like, huh, this burger tastes bad. And then just fall over and be like, oh yeah, he had an allergic reaction and died. you be like, oh, that's why he said it tastes bad. I'm luckily not allergic to anything. I don't know what I'm allergic to. Yeah. <laughs> you call me, like, when you're on your deathbed, apparently I'm allergic to mustard. <laughs> That would be hilarious, though. What would be a... Oh, that would actually be a good question. Like, if you could, like, somehow have a food allergy now, Did I just... based on, like, your your diet and what you like to eat, what would be, like, the worst possible thing to be allergic to? Um... Now, I'm talking, like, death, deathly allergic. Like, if you take it, you're most likely going to cock out before you can take an EpiPen. Uh... Fuck, I have no clue, actually. I don't think... I don't think it'd be like dairy stuff. 
I just drink like a lot of milk and like extra quality low. Oh, you're gonna restart everything. the game on for that, aren't you? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna restart. Oh yeah, and then we had a uh, fun adventures at work yesterday without Seth. Or Seth was there, but he wasn't there for the end. When I left. Right. So, uh, we have one co-worker who he knows. Who They really only work there, like, only, I think it was like one or two days a week. They work at uh, another place. And how would you describe them? They're very me-centric. And not like me-me, but just like me and one of our bosses. We went to, ironically middle school together and like our the actual like store owner boss we were talking it's like oh wait you guys do each other middle school and i was like yeah she was like one of the one she's like the few people that like didn't bully me uh so we just started from middle school and in the middle they just go oh do you want to hear what i was like in middle school and i'm like it wasn't the conversation oh wait hold on like i think i was there for that one were you i think so i think that was right before i left that was just weird. Yeah, that, like, that was wrong. weird. If you have something no one to really add, cares. If you, to, be real. <laughs> if you had something to add to the conversation, jump to it. But it was just like... But there's also like that one thing where it's like, uh, do you want to hear what I was like in middle school? And you're like, I can kind of guess the kind of person you were in middle school. Like, I don't mean to... You know, what sort of a like, stereotype or anything, but I can get a hint that you were probably not the coolest person just like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I, you know, I could just tell you weren't the coolest person. Pretty simple to tell. I could just tell that you hated everybody. <laughs> I still do. Oh, yeah, and the main co-worker that Seth hates. Uh, big boss lady got uh, mad. I always... I, I keep saying big boss lady. That's not like a take on like her figure. I just like... No, she's like, just I mean, the, like she's... The, the, store, uh, the store manager. So she is technically the yeah, big boss like... above everyone in the store. Yeah. I I also call her. All right, what do I say? I, I also say like mom. She's a store mama stuff like that. But she's um she get angry at a coworker Seth does not dislike. And uh, you does know not exactly like. who it is. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, there's only one what person did they do asked. this time? Or sorry, what did like, she hey. do? <laughs> <laughs> she was just like uh, our boss was just like, hey, go talk to the guy up front because I guess she had done with stuff and ask him like what to oh what she told him her she told her to go ask connor because he's right. the one who's been or who was giving her stuff to do correct it purging because good just means like miss uh, because our boss told him to tell her what to do right in front of her mind you mm-hmm. so there should be no reason that she's uh acting the way that she probably was over it and then she like just didn't do it, or like she just went up and she's like, or didn't talk to Hunter, tried to talk to someone else. But it's just like, how could you screw up an instruction that bad? That's what kills me. Right. It's like, could there be a? I get like if you're like they're packed up front, but it's like, could there be a more direct like request? I'm like. Go with some some D's. Yeah, and he's back. The guy, that's what kills me. I the new guy did really well last night after he left. That's good. The only the only thing he forgot to do is uh, change like the big trash bag in the break room, and that's about it. Oh, I kind of thought that was self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I said. It's like a, it's like the most like obvious one too. So I was like, that's kind of funny, but I was like. Like Lisa checked everything out and she was like, Cool, you killed it. Just change the trash. And then, was... <laughs> and then of course we got a cat we got a couch and like a crap on our tables at the last second at like eight forty four. So we were like, awesome. That now we that, I don't doubt that ever. Yeah. I was literally like, now you are officially a member. You've been screwed <laughs> at last second with door stuff. <laughs> God, I just burped and hiccup at the same time and I wanna die. Ugh. All right. I promise the next one we play, 
uh, Seth won't die uh, immediately. <laughs> Maybe don't I promise can't... that. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens. Next time on Tarkov. He's been Seth. He's been Josh. <laughs>